Hi, I'm Marlo. This is Charlie, and welcome to our home right on Central Park. I'm looking forward to showing you how I entertain today. Come on in. As soon as my guests arrive, this is the first place they come, and I always put out a huge spread, and I love to just focus here. Everybody looks out at the park, and it's beautiful all year. When I first built this apartment, I said to the architect, what I want is a Malibu house on top of the city, and that's what I think I've done. What's exciting for me is that everything on this table I created for William Sonoma for my collection. Isn't it lovely? It's very sexy, very nighttime. And this is a wine cooler, but I use it as a flower pot. This is my favorite thing. You know how you always have to bring the crackers and then the cheese and then the fruit. So I designed this especially. I love all these pieces and people sit here and they munch and they drink and socialize. You know, I was looking for a really wonderful cabbage flower to put on my sofa and I got a whole bunch of them together and they just look so beautiful. It's like a garden. Phil gave me these beautiful dom lamps for my birthday one year. I just love them. I'm in terror that they're gonna break because I can never replace them. As also you'll see, I collect a lot of blue and white little pots and they're all over the house, you know, and the blue and white goes with everything. After my guests have had plenty of hors d'oeuvres and cocktails, then I kind of usher them in to the dining room. So I'm sure you've noticed that there are palm trees everywhere in my house. I'm from LA, I have to have them. You can't grow the bougainvillea, but you can have the palm trees. Now we are in the dining room. I love this room because it's all about great food and conversation. What makes a good party is a collection of people that'll be interested in talking to each other. I like people to know that I was thinking about them and I put them next to somebody they'd like to talk to. That's why I have place cards. That way by the end of the dinner, everybody feels like they had a good time. I think what a table should look like for guests is, come on in. Everything here is gonna be pretty, it's gonna taste good. The eyes eat before the stomach. So if something looks delicious and luxurious and inviting, you'll be more apt to enjoy the meal. And these tables are wonderful. These are two different tables, so that if you only have six people for dinner, you're not sitting at a huge dining room table. I bought these chairs and I painted them blue and then these are all hand painted, the backs and the seats. And so each one is different and gives it a painting feeling. When we moved in here and we're looking at this big, beautiful sky, I said to the painter, please, you know, just match the sky. Just make a blue ceiling. And you know, I've never gotten tired of it. It does feel like the outside is coming in. And so it's very harmonious. We have light coming from the north and light coming from the south. You're looking at other buildings. And so I put greenery up so I don't see the people over there and greenery on that end so I don't see people over there. So in a way, I've encompassed my home in greens, really. So this is a nice little spread that I do for brunch. As you probably know, I'm half Lebanese and half Italian. Both sides of my family love to eat. So whenever I put together a brunch, I like to be sure there's something for everybody. And what's exciting to me is that everything you see on this table is from my collection. You know, I never thought about designing my own collection. Laura Alber, who's the CEO of uh, Williams-Sonoma, she saw all my things and she said, you have to do a collection for us. So that's the first time I ever thought of doing it and I'm loving it. I get such a kick out of it and seeing my name on the back of a plate. This table and these chairs came from my house in LA. They never get old, they always look wonderful. But I love the natural wood. So I usually do like to set this up here in the library with all the books and then all the photographs of my family, of me with some important people that I'm impressed to have met. There's even a picture of Phil dancing with Princess Diana. I think another great secret about having a good party is having a piano. There's no room for a big baby grand piano, but this little piano, this little Yamaha, it's great. This is a lovely little spot. I have a lot of furniture and works of art and lamps and so forth. I don't think anything has to match. And that's actually what inspired me to make my own collection in different colors, different pieces. You know, you put it all together and if you like it, it works. Thank you for coming. I hope you enjoyed seeing how I entertain and come again. Next time I'll give you some real food. 
Before you go, let us know if you enjoyed this video. Drop a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more exclusive tours.